please welcome out a veteran of the cell phone industry, Ansi Vanyoki. Because these mics should be, should be working. So, 2015, we have those wireless networks that keep us connected 24-7, 365, effortlessly all around the world. That means that uh, those 4 billion people who today are using mobile technology can actually uh, access the network everywhere. It also means that uh, that will start to change in a big way internet. In fact, it's been a pleasure to be in Web 2.0 this year because uh, it's a deja vu for me from 10, 15 years ago, what happened in the cell phone industry at the time because it started to shape the industry called telecommunications. We had uh, phones that actually did have numeric keypads, but there was a memory where you could attach a number to a person, and that, of course, was quite a big change, because rather than calling a physical place, which we know was somewhere stationary, we started to call people who were mobile everywhere around the world. This changed the whole communication paradigm, and we forecasted in 1992 that uh, by year 2000, something like 25% of the population in the OECD countries would be using a mobile phone. Of course, we were terribly wrong because the figure turned out to be 60% by year 2000. And now what we are seeing in the web with these broadband networks being there and evolving all the time is that the same will happen to the internet. It will all become contextual and change. Content is actually, context actually is forming everything. In 2000 to 2015, we are going to see that everything is going to refer to a context. After all, what makes us, the human beings, different from the rest of the creatures on this planet is that we are aware. We are aware of the context, we are a place, aware of the place, the time, the different relationship that we have at any given place and time. And that gives the meaning of ourselves. We are aware. When that awareness can be transmitted to the network all the time, from all places around the world, it will actually start to unite us as a mankind in a very different way. Then these questions, where are you, actually become irrelevant, which is the most frequently used question when you answer a cell phone, because everybody knows where we are if we have chosen to share our location with other people. It is all about location. It's about social location. We have released a very exciting new uh, application on its beta phase, point and find, where just by pointing a cell phone, taking a picture, will actually uh, give you information about the object that you took the picture of. Thinking about the databases that are formed based on coordinates in the world and the GPS location that we have on a device and an electronic compass in the same device will allow, allow people to just standing somewhere use their own coordinate and the direction of the phone to indicate places, marrying reality with virtuality. For this, we need a completely new device. It's not a cell phone. Actually, it is a mobile computer. Nokia has a big lead in this development. Last year alone, we shipped more than 60 million of such computer devices to the market, forming a population of Nokia devices out there exceeding more than 100 million pieces. If we look at uh, the consumers at large, 4 billion people on the planet have a mobile phone. Out of those 4 billion, more than a billion, somewhere around 1.3 billion, are actually using a Nokia device. These devices are used everywhere, from big towns in the develop, developed world to the small villages in the developing world. 
all of these devices will be converted to the computers similar to the one pictured here, the Nokia N97, over the years. When these broadband uh, networks are extending their reach around the world, the future will start to look very different. With the hundreds of gigabytes of memory in these devices, or just the 64 gigabytes of memory we have on 97, it allows people to store things there. With GPS enabled in these devices all the time, we can tag everything we take pictures of. We can leave our own traces on coordinates. It's no wonder that Nokia has invested a lot into location technologies. People were wondering, why did we pay $8 billion for Navtech, a mapping company? Well, we certainly didn't do it for just helping people to find from one place to another, but rather did it because it can form a database for everything. Because everything on, in, on this planet can be described in coordinates. Every person, every object on this planet can be given coordinates. Coordinates of where they are. But when we then combine all of this with the IP addresses relative to that particular coordinate and object, we actually really start to marry virtuality with reality. And in this way, we are going to bring the net to everybody all the time, everywhere. And our being on this planet is not only the being that we have in the physical world, in reality, but at the same time, we start to exist really and truly in the virtual world as well. That's not the second life. That's our very first life, just augmented with the presence in the web all the time. The consumer is making these choices, and consumers have told us that they want this. Now it is for all of us to develop the right applications, the right environments, where actually this future is going to be made reality. And we know it is happening. We have announced the Ovi store that will roll out starting in June. There, the different applications are within the reach of the consumers. The four million registered developers that are working on Nokia's environment are certainly going to produce some very exciting new applications that take the social location to the core and really start to integrate the physical world with the virtual. At the end, the user interface of such a computer becomes a map. A map that is not stationary. A map that is alive. A map that actually, by zooming and panning, gives you the picture of everything on this planet everything that you have an interest in, all your relationships. All this needs to happen in the way that the consumer is going to stay in control of all of his information all the time. And that's how we are building it. But just imagine the map, everything on the map. And this here in the picture shows it like it is today. But when we just touch it, it changes and it gives you the exact social location, where you are, what's going on, and what is the true context of where you are. And that can be done for all and everything because we will all be there in the web. This will cre create the next generation of web. Nokia is going to be a major contributor and player in enabling this new world to happen just like we did during the 1990s when telecommunications became mobile and we started to call persons instead of buildings. Now we will be living in the media. We will extend our souls, our being, into the network. And in this way, the very first life gets richer. But all this needs quite intelligent new devices. And I would like to close my presentation by giving you a glimpse of what kind of devices we will be seeing that we all be wearing moving to the future. 
So please play the video. In case you feel uncertain about what I just said or want to passionately contribute to that future, you'll find me with an email address ansi.vanyuki at nokia.com and we can have a dialogue. But you'll also find me with that same name in all of the most popular social sites. Thank you very much.